must take that path. It must be better. <laughs> Something happened to me for the first time in my most recent... That. Yeah. Ah! That. Like, I was running through that, and that's never happened to me, but when I was playing through it, when I bought it for Xbox Live Arcade, um, that happened to me, and I was like, whoa. That, has that... Is it, was, was that in before? And actually, commenters, go ahead and tell me if it if it was or wasn't in the original or Sonic Adventure DX. What I played was Sonic Adventure DX. I didn't have a Dreamcast. What was me? Um, I've always I find the Switch. Good job. <laughs> I've always uh, been a Nintendo boy. A Nintendo bro. I'm sorry. Carry on. <laughs> don't get hit by the fire. I I actually don't know if that even. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so my first console was the Nintendo 64 and then I had a GameCube and now I have a Wii and I bought an Xbox 360 because it was all the rage um, I don't know it's not like you regret it right well dude let me tell you something incredibly sad I bought the Xbox 360 for Sonic 06 that is incredibly sad but I have bought several games for it since so you know it's not like a waste of money yeah, no. But it was like, hey, new Sonic game. And, you know, I played Sonic 06 and I enjoyed it. And I didn't, like... I kind of thought it was a little bit bad, but I enjoyed it anyway. But I didn't, like, think it was really bad until, like, other people were like, oh my gosh, what have they done? <laughs> but I, I understand it. I There are just some games that... I don't think people are wrong terrible. to think that. It's, yeah, Sonic 06, it's a guilty pleasure for me, I guess. Oh my gosh! Like, I'm sure all of... Oh, wow. Well, backtrack. Alright. I'm sure a lot of my old, like, my old favorite games are kind of not that good. I, I remember, and don't rage at me, but when I played Final Fantasy VII, that's like one of those games that actually everyone loves, but I was watching some footage of it. Actually, a lot of people know. think it's, like, overrated well, now and dislike it for it. It, it went. It did the what I like to call the tw the Twilight cycle, where it's like Twilight books were super popular at first, and because they were popular, everyone hated them. And I don't. Know. I don't that's the, not. That's not why. The concept seems kind of bad, just for Twilight in general. Sorry, all you Twilightians. <laughs> I don't. We're talking about Twilight Saga, not Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle is awesome. She is best pony. Yes. Say, say she's best pony. She's best pony. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What? Just, just move crap. on. Move on with your life. Okay. Also, I like this m music right now. I do too. Yeah, I kind of had to keep your momentum going. I'm gonna tell you this, and I kept trying to tell my friends this when they were playing, is un unroll by pressing X. If you're going up a hill or something, stop rolling. I, Run. I didn't know that. <laughs> just press X again, and you'll unroll. Uncurl, rather. I don't know terminology. You should know your Sonic terms. Dude, I always watched, um, the reason I, like, liked Sonic, well, first of all, my friend, when I was little, he had Sonic and Knuckles for Genesis, but, um, <sighs> what was I talking about? Um, <laughs> why you like Sonic? Why I like Sonic was, um, <laughs> the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. I, it, I classified it as my favorite cartoon when I was little. Oh, is that the one that supposedly sucked really bad? I... The nostalgia critic says it sucked really bad. That doesn't necessarily mean it does. And I know I know other people like it. It's not universally panned like Sonic 06 is. Unless it is. I, I'm not aware that it is. <laughs> it's not unless it is. <laughs> yeah. Look at those jail cells. What the hell are those things? What? I feel like those should be in a horror game. They're like ghosts or something. Don't get hit by the fire. But move on with your life. Just, I don't know what those are. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> Some developer. Just kind of here. But I like this uh, song, and I especially like the remix that's in the Sonic Stadium remix album 2011 or something, whatever. But it's of this song, and it All right. it's called Burning Ghetto, the remix is. I forget what this version is called. But I don't know. It's like the screaming in the background. It like Even though I said I hate Screamo earlier, just the way this does it... <laughs> It, it's not screamo, because it's like it's almost like percussion the way it's done, but I yeah it is per it's like a background. Whoa, okay, it's like a background noise. Yeah, 
But it's cool. It is part of the song. It's not like a separate sound effect that's playing. Oh, I felt so elite just now, and then I lost momentum. Nice. And didn't feel well, like... and, and you made it through that without getting hit, so on your first time, that's an accomplishment. Yeah. Land on it. Nice. Feel elite for that. Oh, yeah. Sean was playing that and he wanted to land on it. He just missed it. And he was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at those parrots. They're like, woo! You know what I wonder? What? What happened to Tails? And also, we chased the egg carrier here, and how the hell are we going to get on it? Because it's still just in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll turn around. The last two levels were kind of useless, so I guess <laughs> this one was too... I don't mind useless levels because the levels are levels to be levels, and the plot should be built for the levels in a Sonic game, not vice versa. Yeah, in a Sonic game. Yeah. And hey, it's Tails. He lived. We got on his plane somehow. And we are standing on the side. Okay. Because gravity. Something that I just kind of realized is, so Tails was flying here. He has no reason to think Sonic's here. Was he just going after Eggman himself? I don't know, but he's way more competent than we are. Yeah, because we, like... <laughs> he's got a plane! <laughs> we let a we let Amy get kidnapped, and then we chased it, and we're unable to do anything. And then Tails shows up, and we're like, alright, we can progress. So this again. It's a little bit harder than the first time. And, spoiler, you succeed this time in, like, landing on it. So yeah, this guy chase again. It's not. It's not really very intense. It's like I'm yeah. just sailing towards it, and it, it's not a highlight of Sonic Adventure, but it's still like a neat thing, and I appreciate that they, like, you know, they were trying a lot of things in yeah, Sonic Adventure. Yeah, they. It it's fun. Like, I actually played when I played. Um, I I will admit, I'm sorry, Paul. When I played um. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, like, I wasn't really having a terrible amount of fun. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I like Shadow the Hedgehog. I think its gameplay is fine, but, but I understand why someone wouldn't like it. But this is actually, like, I am enjoying this. Yeah. Uh, I, I would play this on my own if I had nothing else to play. Well, you should buy it. <laughs> Yay. Otherwise, I'm not gonna buy Microsoft it if... and Sega will find out that you're playing this without owning it, and they will sue oh, you. No. <laughs> Oh no! Well, you know what would be the coolest thing is if, like, if we got a comment from, like, JonTron. Just a comment, Stop anything. Stop stealing our jokes. No, just Don't. like, just like, hey guys, you're pretty funny. Even if I was stopped stealing my jokes, it's just like, <laughs> we got acknowledged by JonTron! <laughs> well, I don't think we've done anything that funny, honestly. Kind of funny. Eh. Also, <laughs> what the crap? You transformed! Yeah, why didn't we do that earlier? Because... That's actually kind of a cool looking plane. It would be a little cooler if the cockpit was closed and there wasn't a hedgehog standing on the top. Whatever. I like how Sonic, he just stands on top of it. He doesn't latch on to anything at all. Yeah. He's just standing there. <laughs> He's not doing anything. Tails is the one flying. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think it would be kind of cool if... So you do have to play this again in Tails' story. Which sucks. Because it's kind of boring. Yeah. But, um... It'd be cool if you played it in Tails' story and not Sonic's. Oh, yeah. Well, that, I mean... Because it you're doesn't not, have much to do with Sonic, honestly. I mean, Sonic's there. Yeah. And yeah, Tails is doing it to get Sonic aboard it, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's like... Yeah. And I'd be alright with it too if it was only Sonic and not Tails, because oh, you're probably going to play through Sonic's first. Wow, you're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I did. Uh, you're probably going to play through Sonic's first and Tails' is later. So you wouldn't be like, oh man, I wanted to play that exact same level again. <laughs> and, you know, if you want to, you can anyway through uh, trial mode. Okay, when that opens up, use your machine gun! Machine gun! Now get out of the way! Ah! Alright, machine gun. I think you destroyed all the other little cannons on it. So machine it, gun it so hard. And when it's, it's gonna... It's like hard to get it precisely there. Uh, get out of the way! Get back in the way! You just constantly fire. Don't stop. You're stopping. I can tell. 
<laughs> no. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could have got it. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, you did. Nice. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Really, this game is five dollars. I bought Sonic Adventure DX for fifty dollars back in the day. Back in the day, and that's when I didn't have money for anything. <laughs> you were a poor kid. Well, I wasn't poor per se. Well, I my oh, no, I myself kids, was. As a kid, kids are poor. Yeah, like you don't have like, any. Income. It's not like my family. Well, maybe my family was lower middle class, but still. Anyway, but I was like Sonic Adventure. Sure, I'll buy that again. This and Sonic 4 Episode 1 are the only Sonic games I own two copies of. Why do I have two copies of Sonic 4 Episode 1, you ask? Um, well, I bought it for Wii. Why do you have two copies of Sonic 4 Episode 1? I bought it for Wii. Okay. And then for Sonic 4 Episode 2, there was... Give me that. There was... Um, look a plane. Wii! Oh my gosh. There was uh, exclusive content for if you had Sonic 1 and 2 on... on 4 Episode 1 and 2 on the same console. The Sonic 4 Episode oh, 2 wasn't yeah. coming out for Wii. So I was just like, well, I guess I'll just buy Sonic 4 Episode 1. And then I got Episode Metal, and it was, guess what? Not worth it. 